This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I perform an inverse mirror and weld? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo anime head here loaded in. Now the question is asking about mirror and weld. So if I go to the tool palette, geometry, modify topology, in here there is a button called mirror and weld. Now mirror and weld will take a subtool that has no subdivisions, and it will take any details that appear on the right side of the model and mirror and weld it over to the left side. So as an example of this, if I come over to the brush palette over here and open this up and then say select the chisel creature brush, in here, let's say I'm gonna grab this spike two part here, and now I'm just gonna apply this to the side of the demo anime head. So just clicking and dragging to draw out that VDM. And then after I do this, let's say I also want it now to appear on the other side of the model. So I can come up here to the tool palette, go to geometry, modify topology, and if I click mirror and weld, this will now take that one side and mirror and weld it over to the other side. So now the demo anime head here now has two horns. Now the default functionality of mirror and weld inside of ZBrush is always going to mirror the right hand side of the model to the left. So if I add another spike here and then come over here and click mirror and weld, you see it's always going to take the right side and mirror it to the left. So the question was asking about doing the inverse. So let's say I come through here and I add another spike, but I add it on the left side of the model. And then after I do that, I decide, hey, I want the spike also to be on the right. So I go back to the tool palette, go to geometry, modify topology, I click mirror and weld, and that spike disappears. So this is happening because ZBrush is always going to take the right side and mirror it to the left. So how can I get the left side to mirror to the right? So to do this, we first just need to add our detail, and then we simply just need to take our model and perform a normal mirror, and then perform the mirror and weld. So if I go to the tool palette and then go down to the deformation area here, in here there is a mirror button, and this will now take the model and just mirror it along one axis. So if I click this button here, you're gonna see the model will now mirror and that spike that was on the left-hand side of the model is now on the right side. So now that the spike is on the right side of the mesh, I can go back to the tool palette, go to the geometry area, modify topology, and if I click mirror and weld, this will now transfer that detail to the other side and now I have my mesh with those mirrored parts. So to quickly recap, in order to perform an inverse mirror and weld, what you need to do is take your model, go to the tool palette, go to the deformation area here, mirror it in the one axis first. So now I've just mirrored it the other side. And then after all the details you're trying to mirror over are on the right hand side of your mesh, then you can go to the tool palette, go to the geometry area, modify topology and click mirror and weld. And then all those details will be mirrored over. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.